made this very, well, it was once derelict, this place, into a very sort of popular tourist attraction. What sort of things have you done here? Well, we wanted to open up to the public and we wanted to show the public what life in this part of Lancashire was, was in 1900. Right. So we've created a whole series of museums and concert halls. The museum is probably the most famous thing for which we've won lots of tourist awards. Well, let's talk about the pier for a moment, because yes. Wigan Pier has been joked about for years, hasn't it? Yeah, but we started off the joke, you know. I mean, people think <laughs> that it's a joke at our expense. It but there is a Wigan Pier, isn't oh, it? Oh, yes, there's a Wigan Pier indeed. It's only about two foot long, but, I mean, the origin of the joke is that ours is a lot older than any seaside pier, and ours, even though it's only two foot long, is a lot more realistic <laughs> than those awful <laughs> things at Blackpool and Southport and, you know, South End. That's not very long at all. No? Now, the buildings around here, you've done a tremendous amount of work to, haven't you? Yes, there were, there were seven warehouses originally, going back to about 1770. Inside two of them, we've put a new museum. And this is, this is what Wigan Pier isn't. This is a seaside joke pier, so that people can actually get the joke out of their system. So you can walk and see what it was like to go to the sea at Blackpool or anywhere else in the year 1900. Mm. But on the other side of the museum, we've actually shown George Formby Senior. There he is, another little comedian with a big following, yes? There was a rumour, wasn't there? Or is it true that he was booed off Wigan Pier? Oh, I think he was more likely to have been cheered off um, yeah. than he ever was booed off. He was very much like the Wogan or the Chegwin of his world. You know, he had a, a lot of routines, was instantly recognisable, and one of his familiar routines was about this signal box, which he saw as the origin of Wigan Pier. It's a very active museum, isn't it? Yes, we want it to be lively. We, we don't really even call it a museum, because that's a bit stuffy. And when you come in, come you on, will meet on, um, eight of my professional actors who work in the museum, so you never really visit anywhere without getting a sense of the life of the place so it's not just dust it's people oh lovely well i went in there yesterday and a little bit later on i shall be going back to school but in the meantime peter thank Thanks you very much, very much nice for being to have with seen us. you bye bye and talking about school this guy leads an awful lot of tuition peter george and your john dankworth award on the big band sound wasn't it that's it, that's it. radio two that's now it. what are you going to play for us this afternoon so um, we're going to play a piece by chuck mangione called main squeeze i'm glad you said that here they are the wigan youth jazz orchestra Absolutely marvellous, that was very good. The Wigan Jazz Youth 